<laughs> That'd be fun in your hair. Yeah, my hair is probably filled with chocolates as well. Mm. Alright, so with that punishment out of the way, let's go start our second run. And by saying second, it's more like the third run. Ah. Shoe on head or pre recorded? Well, I'm reading that message right now. I think we can say that it's not pre recorded. Alright, let's uh, create a new game here. Random leader, deity, standard, continents. I'll do standard, and I want a balanced thing. And uh, well, let's just add a couple of extra AIs, make it more exciting. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. And so it is upon your broad shoulders, Theodore Roosevelt, to charge forth and lead your people on their great adventure. Use your military might to give the peoples of your homeland the square deal they so desperately deserve. Surely, you will raise America into the limelight and attract visitors from across the oceans just to see your lands. Bully for you, Mr. President. Alright, fantastic. We're playing as uh, Teddy Roosevelt. I'm going to look like that if I finish that entire hat. Well, no, I, I, I can't gain weight for some reason. Mm. So we're in America. My units receive 5% combat strength from their home continent. Which home continent? Well, it's not that nice. Uh, well, it is nice because it's going to help me out with barbarians as well, isn't it? Yeah. And then plus one appeal to all tiles within a national park. Yeah. Bit lackluster. And then we get the Rough Rider unit when we get rifling. Okay. Also, we have a unique uh, air unit, but I, uh, I've not really played around a lot with air units. And we've got a culture building. So we're not exactly uh, your first pick if you would go science. But, you know, that's what you get when you roll random. Ah. Here we go. Mm. Yes, that is uh, Sean Bean, indeed. Yeah, it would be nice if there was some useful information about it, like you could hover over it, see what it replaces, and all that, but doesn't uh, doesn't do that. So we've got an amazing start here. Uh, let me open up the yield icons here. Because we've got uh, sheep, and we've got uh, stone both on hills, and we've got another sheep on hills. Now, any resource on hills is just amazing, especially sheep and stone. Stone adds uh, an extra production, sheep and adds an extra food. So, uh, pretty happy with this start so far. Could also build uh, Petra here. If we wanted to be a troll. Which, of course, nah, this is, this is a pretty good spot for a um, for a district. Because it can't be used for anything else. And, oh, look, we've got water. We've got water. Do I want to change my settling position for that, though? I don't think so. Well, it wouldn't... Uh, would, uh, would it be worth it? I don't know. Maybe if it wasn't my first city. The water, of course, giving me uh, extra housing right off the bat. And if I move over here, I won't get that until I build an aqueduct. And it looks like there's land here and land there, so... It's not like if I move down here, I can get access to the water, so... Now we're just going to settle in place. There we go, and we're going to go straight for a slinger. Now, what do I want to work first? First, the sheep or the stone? And I think we want to work the sheep first. Because we've got, well, we've got two, for, two of those. And uh, it doesn't matter. We'll get both of the techs before it matters. But we want to work the sheep first. So I want to make sure that the AI feels the same, and it does. Fantastic. 
I could harvest that stone on the river for an early production boost. I could, I could. I don't know how much that would give me, but... I uh, certainly could. Hmm. So let me just check if my face is on the right spot. No, it's not, because you can't see the turn timer. On the uh, schnaz. Other than that, we seem to be good to go. So, let's get right into this. So, uh, yeah. It's been a while since I played Civ. About roughly a week ago. And uh, last week, we got a little bit intoxicated. And we kind of fucked up a lot. Let's hope that that doesn't happen today. A slinger, why wouldn't you get a builder first? Because if you play on deity, um, getting a builder first is a great way to die. Now, Amsterdam, I like Amsterdam. It's a nice city. Um, you know, it's a very picturesque city. Well, parts of it anyway. I haven't, I haven't been to Amsterdam that much. Oh, warrior camp. We need to deal with this because it's going to spawn horsemen. No, my luck. So we need to deal with this immediately. Uh, yeah, if I build a builder here, I would... Uh, and this spawns horsemen. Dead. So, there you go. We have to go deal with this now. I could... Uh, I could indeed... Chop some forests. But uh, the thing is... Most likely, I'm going to want to build a district on top of this. Because right now I'm looking at this stone, that stone, that hill, and that hill. And, oh, well, there's stone, 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 hill. There's all hills around this this place. And, you know, sheep is nice, but after a while, farms are going to be more, are going to be better at food. So I, I could do something like production and then do something along the lines of something else. I don't know what the balls, you know. We could do uh, money here. Actually, no. Do that differently. No, no, we can do money here. Money, and then we could do... Uh, sanitation. And then we could do... Entertainment. And then we could do science here. I mean, um, industry. I mean, we'd lose one tile, but we'd get we'd uh, get to keep this sheep. So we could do mine, 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 mine. Quara, quara, mine. Hey, hold on. This is party, party place. We could do something like this, and then in that case, I'd keep this. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Those are not set in stone. Ha. Ah, oh, the jokes, the jokes, amazing. Yeah, Riverside, Riverside, uh, lumber mills are really nice. It, it's, it's really, especially in the science victory, you really wanna, you really want production more than anything. It's a bit of a misconception that you need, uh, well, it's not really a misconception. You think, it's a bit counterintuitive, you think in a science victory, you want, okay, I want science victory, I want lots of science, no, 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 you want lots of production, because you need to build that spaceship, and you can only build it in one city at, at a time, because you can only build one project at a time, you can only build one project, so you can only really build it out of one city, so you need that one city to be super good, right? Now, the second thing we're going to build is, I think we're going to get a builder. It's, it's risky, though, getting a builder right now. Still... Even with that slinger out. But I think we're gonna risk it. And how far am I away from Code of Law? Yeah, I'm five turns away from Code of Law. Uh, I'm not gonna attack this though. Kill this as fast as possible. Hopefully kill it with my slinger, because then we can get a boost. I am fond of pig. To, um... To slinging. To, to archery. Yeah, sheep are amazing. I love sheep. Sheep on hills? That's the shit. Alright, we're gonna go for mining straight away because I really want to work that stone as well. And what are we working? Yes. Perfect. Alright, let's clear that out. And we're gonna go for some exploration. So we got bogged down here a little bit, but I couldn't leave this barb fort here. It's too risky, because if they spawn horsemen, before you know it, ten horsemen are in your camp.
I do want to clear out that scout, though. I wouldn't want him to tell his buddies where we are. Not that he can, it's just... Okay. The amount of food you get from harvesting sheep and the speed you reach your early housing pop cap. I'm not convinced it's even worth keeping them around. Yeah, that's true. But they work for, for quite a long time. And if they're on hills, you may as well use them. Our city. Okay, finding lots of city-states right here. I, I think we're going to need to conquer one of them because uh, I feel a bit boxed in right now. Enacting new it is not wisdom. All right, we can get the 5% barbarian bonus and we're gonna have lots of damage on barbarians actually With our home continent bonus and the uh, thingy bonus. Yeah, we're gonna need to keep an eye out when we get the um, uh, Thus the foreign trade because then we know that we've reached a new continent right, Still want craftsmanship though But yeah, I don't know if mines eventually get better, like farms, like, you know, farms eventually get better than... Oh god. I'm gonna get nuked. <laughs> Screw you, Gandhi. I don't know if uh, quarries eventually get better than... Uh, I mean, if mines eventually get better than quarries, even with the resource bonus. I doubt they do. I mean, it's still a resource, but... You've seen multiplayers forbidding harvesting? Wow. Yeah, it, it can really screw you over at the start. Well, it can really boost you at the start and therefore screw somebody else over. Yeah, I'm not going to chase that scout down. We're just going to see what's up here. And as for the next building, I mean unit. I think I want to get another slinger. When you find yourself... You might want to get another builder, but, like, what's our housing? It's six. But don't pastures create housing as well? Like, you get 0 0.5 housing from pasture? Ooh. This is a nice spot. I don't have a good spot to build my, uh, my campus, though. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I could build another builder out of this and see, do some harvesting, see how that works. That looks like Gandhi's territory, I think. Farms and pasture give 0 0.5 housing. Yeah, see, so this is an extra house right here. So as far as that goes, I wouldn't harvest them early. Because it's an extra house. Speaking about getting something for free. Hmm. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> ha! Look! Look! Gandhi adopted communism. Their workers, their workers can actually fight. Plus zero base strength, but plus four due to difficulty. Uh, of course, that's lying. We can insta kill them. Flurry, if you don't want to have time to micromanage all your citizen slots, they're little, little circles. Yeah, I know about those. But sometimes he's still gonna do something stupid, like he'll, he'll see the, the science, and he's gonna be like, Oh! This! We never have this! This is amazing! This is not food! This is not food or production! It's something else! I have to grab it! And then they have to grab it. That's terrible. Also, we've got some very nice uh, horses there. I think I'm just gonna work those instead of the stone. Yeah. Yeah, we might th work those instead of the stone. He's already settled another city east of Volnius. Wow. Yeah, I see it right there. God damn you, Gandhi. Uh, I've got pottery and fortunes. Let's do some harvesting. 
we'll work this by that tile and uh, we'll do some harvesting, see if we can't build the city up. And oh my god, he's stenting me so hard right now. And you know, our archery is close by. He built a city right there. I can't expand over here because there's city states all around me. So we're gonna need to go to war. The thing with Gandhi is he can build those um those dumbo dumbos, those elephants. And fuck me, are they strong? They've got so much HP. But yeah, if I take this uh, worker, we can chop, harvest, make our city into a super city, and uh, hell, I could even grab that uh, granary, get plus two housing, and we should be good to go. Uh, apart from the fact that we don't have any anonymities unless we get a uh, thingy after afterwards. And I don't know if we'll have enough time. Yeah, so it's pottery, irrigation, and then archery. And after this builder's finished, we're gonna churn out slingers like crazy. Okay. Let's take it. India! I don't like you encroaching on my borders, bro. My attempts to avoid violence have failed. And I, for an eye, only makes the world blind. Are early wars common in Civ 6? You pretty much have to if you're playing on Deity. Especially since I added two extra people, so there's no going around to it. Gandhi would not be my first pick to rush though, because like I said, those freaking elephants. How many builder points does he have? Oh, he still has two. Okay. I, I was afraid we were going to get trolled and he was he'd have uh, one builder, one build left. They start with three, so he's already expended one. Well, the man, the malice is, is that you have to actually manage everything after you do that, so... Now, do I still want to spend this money on that, though, if we're gonna go for the slingers? Yeah, that's a bit of a silly move, but we're gonna do it anyway. Alright, let's bring you home, get ready for some chops. And I want you to focus on production, because we're gonna... Now, which sheep are we going to get rid of, though? Because now I've got no more sheep to get rid of, so no, we'll focus on food. Yeah, so got no sheep to get rid of. Well, I could clear the march. But I can't see that yet. All right, fuck it. We'll focus on the production. Okay, I got a scout for free. This is very nice. I can delete it and get some money. There you go. Give me some of my cash back. Yeah, because I've got no room to go here. I have to go kill Gandhi. There's no other way. There's nothing else to it. Yeah, irrigation was next, right? Yes. And shit, I'm gonna need to farm this wheat. If I want to get this in a timely Still fashion. Without imagination. And I do. 30% production towards builders. Give it. Hello. And 50% production towards classical melee and ranged units. Go! Right. This guy's just gonna chop this. Uh, hold on. These are both on hills, so I'll chop these two forests. These ones we can make into lumber mills just fine. And we can chop these without feeling bad because uh, we can build mines there, so we'll be, we, we're gonna end up being fine with that. We're not gonna lose any production in this city if we chop these two in the long term. Not much, anyway. Playing Trump Nation. No, my president. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's see. We need to find this to get the boost for irrigation. 
So we have to farm there. Otherwise, we're going to be slower. So this is just basically expending one worker turn on, uh, on getting science. I need to work this as well. So that's And I've got five worker moves in total. So it's chop, chop, farm, irrigation, marshy marsh. And I've got seven housing right now. If I add another plus two, I could go up to nine. But there's no way I'm getting up to nine. So I don't think we're going to get that granary. I think we're just going to get slingers because we're on a timer. Tick, tick, tickety. We need to get slingers crazy fast. Yes. Settler? I wish I had time for a settler, but I really don't. I'm gonna hope that Gandhi tr clears this out. So, production. Slinger. Takes two turns. I disagree. Wait, hold on. Uh, let's get you out. Fortify. I disagree with that entirely. And Slinger. One turn. Slinger. Move. Go. Yeah, let's build that farm. How many dockets do we have? 250, okay. We can build plenty more in that case. I do need to bring you home. Now I'd want to at least go up to uh, six, six slingers. Six times 30, yeah, we can do that. We can go even higher. Even further beyond and actually if I want to clear this march, I don't need to buy the tile. I can just do that Isn't settler boom the earlier the better I'm at war now I, uh, I'm not gonna build a settler now. I'm at war I'll just steal Gandhi settler Production the slinger Insta finish. And can I clear this? Requires irrigation. That's slightly unfortunate. So, how many slingers do we have at this point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times thirty. We can almost we'll get one more, and then we'll have to churn out some warriors, or maybe another builder. You can't steal settlers. Yes, you can. Have lived without you could just take a settler. You can, if he's walking around with a settler, you can uh, take. I think it's worth buying if you're a fan of the Civ series, because a lot of the EU4 folks are not. Okay, we're gonna get an extra pop here. Sweet. Working the this, I don't agree with that. What are you working? Yeah, I've got a production malice now. Because I don't have enough anonymities. It's pretty much a no-brainer, I just couldn't find the button. So... Do I want to get another builder? Yeah, maybe get some more mines. Yeah, sure. Get a builder right now. If I build more slingers, I won't be able to upgrade them. Well, I will, but I need some money left over in the bank. I 
Do Sith players like the transition of EU4 overall? Okay. So. If grand strategy or strategy, strategy games in general is drugs, right? EU4 is blue crystal meth. Yeah, that, that, that's blue crystal meth, right? Nobody that you just know wanders around without ever, ever having used drugs isn't, isn't going to jump right into blue crystal meth, right? Nobody's going to jump right into EU4. They've played some other strategy game, like, like oh, I don't know, like a gateway drug, like, like, like Civ or Age of Empires or, you know... And then they hear about oh, grand, it's EU4, Grand Strategy, wow, what is this? This is amazing. Well, I'll try it once. And they are hooked for years, 10,000 hours, thousands of hours. It's amazing. But then if you're used to blue crystal meth and you move to something a little weaker, you're like, hmm, okay, yeah, this is nice. But oh my god, EU4 was amazing. So there you go. It's a myth of, it's a mix of meth and cocaine. That's a bit, that, I think that's a fitting analogy. Really, because it, it really is. It really does feel like that sometimes. But, you know, you don't always want to use crystal meth, because it can really fuck you up, you know? It's, it can, like literally, you for you can get headaches from that game if you play it too long. If, if you do it too intensely, you can seriously get headaches. You can get really burned out because you're thinking so much and there's stuff going around, uh, going on everywhere. And it's, oh my God, it's really intensive. If you're doing something like a world conquest or something, which is, which, which is a bit akin to overdosing. <laughs> but then sometimes you just want to, something mellow, something nice. Ah, a bit of pot, you know, a bit of Civ 6. Ah, that's, that's what it is. So, oh, is it worth buying? Yes, certainly. It's it's a great game. But if you're really into the hardcore of the hardcore, core, 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 hardcore, then you might feel a little bit bummed out. There you go. That's basically how I feel about this. But I think, it, like I said, I think it's a great game. It's, but it is. It, it is the weaker of the two. In terms of hardcore -iness. Right. See what's going on. Yes, he's taking out the barb cam. Fantastic. Good job, Gandhi. Good job. Can you now uh, work this T in that silver? Because I need anonymities. Do I recommend Civ 6? It looks like Civ 5 is better. Oh, no. I like this much more. Oh, see, he's... he's He's looking at my unit count and he's like, okay, uh, maybe we should sign peace. I think not, Gandhi. I think not. See, you settled on my door. I'm gonna need to kill you now. This is... I like this strategy so much because it reminds me a little bit of, like, taking lots of loans in EU4 and just going ham on someone. <laughs> Alright, so we've got another builder. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build a granary now. Or maybe... Turn out some workers. We've got eight housing. I'm gonna work this. I'd then like to work um, some more mines, really. It doesn't look like I have any mines, so we're probably gonna uh, use this and this down here. And then maybe use one more worker point on the hill if we have, if we've unlocked it. I'd like to work this thing. This thing will be very nice to work. But yeah, I think looking at my unit count. Well, first of all, let's upgrade you. I go for garrisons. Let's open up this. Uh, oy, oy. Can I not open it up a, a new and a second time? No, I can't open up the skill tree. No, I can't open it up. Well, I'll open it up the next time we promote. And I'll show you why I always pick Garrison. Almost always. But yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's almost enough to surround us. Ah, okay, we'll get one more. We'll get one more, just because we... It's gonna get more difficult to get new archers and slingers. You can build those in a second. 
But uh, no, yeah, I prefer Civ 6 over 5. A lot. A whole heck of a lot. I want to check out what's going on. Uh, I do need more warriors though. Look at this style. The style is amazing. I mean, we're gonna run into anonymity problems sooner than we're gonna run into housing problems. Nah. Nonsense. Getting that granary. We'll be fine. Now let's back paddle a little bit here. I'm not moving out my slingers right now because then I can't upgrade them. Speaking of which, probably want to move this guy back one, one turn. U4 has multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, it does. Alright. Archery. Upgrades. 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 Under. A. Up. And look at that balance. Completely efficient. Completely efficient. Couldn't have timed that better. Myself. Except I did it myself. Even if I do say so. Myself. Right. Research. I want masonry because apparently I need that to clear out the, the rest of the, of the workers. So, I mean the stone that's in the way and that's all flatlands. So yeah, let's wash the spiggy. Tech 4, indeed. This is like getting Tech 4. Yeah, yeah. That's once again. Good, good way to describe this. Getting the Archer upgrade is like getting Tech 4. And when your enemy doesn't have it, well... And this is like a capital fort. It's not even a capital fort. It's not even fortified. It's just, it's just dead. It doesn't exist anymore. Alright, let's move out, boys. We are by the grace of God. We are by the grace of God. I will forward settle you until you have no more tiles to grow on at all. I am Victoria. Fantastic. No, thank you for the introduction, but please fuck off. Oh my god, he's got a settler there. Well, I'm gonna want that. <laughs> 